good morning, Aries. So <laughs> welcome to, sorry, I'm like, God, I'm a little slow this morning. Um, welcome to the weekly love reading for Aries, so Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter from today, October 3rd to the 11th. You guys SOS'd me. <laughs> So that's why I'm like, I'm still waking up. I literally had like throw clothes on. I got a little bed head going and I'm a little congested because I just woke up. So Aries, bear with me as I'm like coming online here. But you guys definitely were SOSing me this morning. I was laying in bed trying to wake up and I was just getting blasted with messages from you and blasted with your energy. And I was like, oh, okay, Aries, Aries, you guys never SOS me. Um, so I'm kind of excited to do this reading here. Um, so for those who are new to my channel, I always go to my meditative session first which is energy that I pick up in and around you, which is basically um, energy you could be experiencing directly or someone from your environment or someone you're energetically attached to. Keep in mind it is energy so it can be reversed or vice versa. Then we'll do the pre-shuffle on screen and then we'll go ahead and get into the reading, okay? I did meditate a little bit with your energy even though you were blasting me with it. Aries, the first thing I heard was rubies, diamonds, and gold. <laughs> I was like, okay, Aries, okay. And I literally saw like a queen-like person or matriarch whatever you want whatever label you want to use for that in a big ass throne covered with diamonds rubies and gold okay i don't know who you are i don't know what's going on there um i feel like a lot of you it's really just about abundance feeling powerful and also this energy of being pampered okay you could be pampering yourself or someone could be wanting to give this to you kind of like making you their queen making you their king uh, it feels very like luxury 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 okay um and it's so funny because then that uh song from cardi b came to me that uh money and i'm not and you know no tina shade i'm just not a cardi b fan no i'm just you know just not my thing not my thing everyone's got their thing right and no no tea or shade to her she's doing her thing too um you're just really focused like it's just all about the pentacles it's about luxury with you right now okay aries whether someone wants to do this for you or you're doing this to yourself i do feel like you've had a little bit of a block though aries recently to get to this point um because i did it's like sense an energy of kind of like frustration a lot of frustration and maybe you just feel like you weren't going to have this for whatever reason or another but i do feel it's like no i earned this it's mine and i need to go and have it it's mine you know it's very very arian <laughs> i love you aries very very arian um and when i thought about rubies and diamonds i did think about birthstones which is like it's april and july so april like that is like one of your birthstones um Aries and then July I was thinking like Cancer Leo but more Leo energy you could be dealing with the Leo or you could have that in your chart here um yeah and Aries some of you hmm, yeah yeah I feel like a lot of you this is you doing this for yourself you doing this for yourself um it's something about commanding respect commanding the room oh this is interesting Aries um I'm getting, this is an interesting visual. I was getting a visual of like a mob boss, but a woman, like a feminine mob boss, like, like she's got security around her. She's, she's got her goons around her smoking a cigarette. Like, like they're literally giving me that visual. And obviously don't get hung up on gender guys. It's just energy, right? It's energy. And like that kind of energy is basically like, yeah, I did this all by myself. I did this for me and no one thought I could. You know, it's that kind of energy. Very commanding. Very commanding, Aries. I like it. Oh, sorry. They're, they're giving me stuff. I'm just tapped into you right now, Aries. They're giving me stuff. Uh, They did just show me a rhino. That's interesting. Yeah, I definitely feel like you, you've had to work really hard to get to get to this point or someone's had to work really hard to give this to you or to get into a place to provide this to you. Uh, rhinos are very, Um, it's about their about resiliency. They're about resiliency and perseverance, okay? Um, so it's been a hard road, Aries. I do feel for some of you, like, there were people in your way. Yeah, for some of you, it's, like, not even just, like, not that it was just a hard thing to do, but, like, people actually actively standing in your way, not wanting you to have it. Yeah, not wanting you to have it. Some of you could have even had the feeling of, man, the world is just against me. The world's just against me, and they don't want me to have shit. But Aries, you're not putting up with that, right? You're Aries. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into the pre-shuffle here and get these cards calibrated, calibrated. Actually, hold on. Let me get a little sippy. I'm going to wake up soon, I promise. Mm. Okay, Aries. Mm. Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Aries, the moon rising Venus, and Jupiter. 
Please bring forth messages of healing, truth, and love for those who need it for air. <laughs> Four swords, Libra energy, and the Ten of Cups, Piscean energy. How am I going to have it? It's mine. I'm going to get it. I just need to figure out how to get it. <laughs> that's what I'm feeling with that. Honestly, that's what I'm feeling with that. Um, for some of you, I'm also getting a hiatus. Some of you, I'm also getting a hiatus energy. You could have gone to like rehab, recovery. It could even be a vacation or a family vacation at that. Yeah, there's this energy of like, I need to do this to get to my Ten of Cups. No matter what doing this is. But it's around the energy of either getting clarity, figuring something out, isolating yourself to do it, or going, yeah, or just kind of going off the radar, going MIA to do this and figure it out. Some of you could also be meditating a lot to try to figure this out of how to get to your Ten of Cups, how to get to your happy place. But I do feel like around that is Pentacles. I would not be surprised if we get the Ten of Pentacles out here as well. Someone could be thinking about all of this in regards to you, Aries, as well. So don't forget that. Like, how do I get Aries to be a part of my Ten of Cups? Please bring, please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. From today to August 11th. August. What, what the hell? October. <laughs> okay. Aries, something might have happened in August. Okay? Just say. Something might have happened in August. From today to October 11th. I did that recently, too. Um... I think that came up in the crystal monthly healing. I can't remember what sign it was for. Um, it might have been for another. It might have been for Sag. It might have been for Sag. It definitely happened in the crystal monthly healing for part two. So the last six signs of the Zodiac. So Libra, Scorpio, uh, Sag, Cap, Aqua, and Pisces. I just can't remember which one it was, but it definitely happened. That's crazy. Uh, but did, we, did we have another timeline shift? Is that what's going on here? Okay. Placing forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. From today to October 11th. <laughs> that was funny. Like, and I got it so clear, too. I was like, oh, yeah, it's August. Uh. Seven of Wands, Leo Energy. You're going to fight for it. You're fighting for it. You're not letting anyone take away your abundance. You're not letting anyone take you off your throne, Aries. It's yours. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Aries, I just heard get off my throne. Oh my God. Did someone usurp something of yours? Oh, Aries. Someone could be thinking of how to get you back. And they're they're putting up a really big fight for it, for you. Um, because that would felt very usurping. That felt very usurping. Get off my throne. <laughs> get off my throne. Uh, wow. Oh my God, Aries, what are you? I've got chills. I've got serious chills with that one. Yeah, that's going to be hitting home with some of you. Get off my throne. Wow. Uh, please bring forth messages of truth and love for those who need it. For Aries, someone rising Venus and Jupiter from now to October 11th. That's only going to be for like, that's only going to be for some of you, okay? Others of you, it's something that you're taking for yourself, but maybe some of you feel like someone took it from you or took someone from you and it's yours. Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. From <laughs> Aries, shit. Knight of Wands, Sag energy could also be Aries or Leo. Does that not look like someone going into battle? Doesn't it? Off that huge ass. Is that a, that's gotta be a griffin, right? Look with how big it is. Um, I love this deck. It's so awesome. But yeah, Aries, you're coming in. You're coming in with a fight. You're coming in with a fight. Picking up the usurping energy again. For those of you dealing with a usurping energy, whoever you are, you know who you are. Um, they're gonna put up a big fight too, Aries. It's gonna be a bit of a be a bit of a fight. It don't God, this feels so like like this feels like so like so how you'd go about something like back in like olden time olden times, listen to me. Um, where it's like someone took your throne and you go off in the mountains in a cave somewhere and you're like, I'm gonna figure this out like, to get my kingdom back. <laughs> oh shit. No wonder it feels like that. Aries, for some of you, that did happen to you in a past life. That did happen to you in a past life. And then now you're going to go to battle with it. Like, all right, they took my kingdom. They took my throne. I'm going to go and figure out how to get this shit back. Let me go off the radar. Let me go MIA because they're going to come and kill me. <laughs> and then let me come back in and take my shit back. It, yeah, Aries, some of you, this happened in a past. This for, like, for someone out there, this happened to you in a past life for sure. Oh, my God. Yeah, totally, totally. All right, let's see what else wants to come out here. Keep in mind, this is just a pre-shuffle still, okay? A lot of fire, a lot of passion here. 
So Aries, again, this could be you just trying to claim your Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, your throne, so to speak, uh, your abundance, what's meant for you after dealing with some shit to get there and feeling like people were in your way. Um, others, you feel like something, someone took it from you and you're coming in to claim it back after a, a little period of hiatus or trying to figure out how to get it back, okay? Um, and someone could be doing this in regards to you, trying to get you back or take you off of their throne. Oh, Aries. Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. From now to October 11th. What did you get yourself into, Aries? What is going on here? Oh, boy. All right. Yeah, that's it. Oh, and look at that. Page of Wands on the bottom with the Nine of Cups, Piscean Energy. Wow. With the Two of Cups, Squirt uh, Cancerian, that's interesting. Can we deal with Scorpio? I almost said Scorpio. Cancerian energy, which is also soulmate here, okay? Yeah, this is someone going after their wish fulfillment. Either, again, like could be claiming someone, a relationship, or just a throne here, all right? Something that means a lot to you or that you mean a lot to someone, okay? Wow. All right, let's go ahead and get into the reading, Aries. This is juicy. I like it. It's very juicy. Um, <clears throat> hmm, hold on. All right. Okie dokie. For those who are new to my channel or new to tarot, please understand that these are very general readings. Not all messages will be for everybody, okay? Messages come through for those who need them. Um, keep in mind, guys, we are also working with energy, so messages can be reversed or vice versa. And also, don't get hung up on the gender of the cards. The thing's gender specific. We all have masculine, feminine energy. Don't get hung up on the time frame either. Time is not linear. I do this for organizational purposes, okay? Any messages for Aries or just for Leo? Mm. any messages for Aries oh that's funny because we were talking about that earlier right any messages for Aries I almost said Leo again any messages for Aries <laughs> I'm just in it guys I'm just in it with you any messages for Aries regarding love from today to October 11th mm. any messages for Aries regarding love from today to October 11th Any messages for Aries regarding love from today to October 11th? I'm getting the word deserving. I'm getting the word deserving. Aries, you know you're deserving of it, but you want other people to know that too. That was interesting. You want to make a point. You want to make a point. Um, you have no problem just claiming something and being happy, just knowing it's yours. But I can feel you want to take it a step further and being like, now I want you to understand that I am deserving of this. Are you asking people to bow down to you, Aries? My God. <laughs> Aries, I don't know what the hell you're doing. I don't know what the hell you're doing. This is crazy. Uh, any messages for Aries? <laughs> Regarding love from now to October 11. One more. Here we go. Any messages for Aries regarding love from now to October 11th? <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah. Uh-huh. Your kingdom, for sure. Four of Wands, Aries energy. Four of Wands is a foundation that's been built, okay? Whether it's a marriage, a business, an actual home, it's your throne. Aries, it's your throne. It's your kingdom. You're taking it. It's yours. If it's a relationship you're trying to claim, you're claiming it. Go to be an interracial couple, just saying, for those words of relationship. A lot of sacral energy with that too. A lot of sacral energy, a lot of solar plexus. Oh yeah, more, more solar plexus energy than sacral energy. Um, a lot of, co oh God, Aries, you are so coming in so confident here. So confident. Any other messages for Aries regarding love? Oh, Ooh. Ace of Cups in reverse with the chariot. Cancerian energy. Oh my, yeah, Aries, for a lot of you, this is something you feel like you lost or something that you feel like was taken from you. Wow. What? what? I just heard left the building. I just heard left the building. Yeah, Aries, I feel like this is a recovery mission, <laughs> so to speak. Or something, again, this could all be vice versa, Aries. But rec recovery mission is the energy I just got. Recovery mission. <laughs> Any messages for Aries regarding love? There's the four swords again. Let me figure this shit out. Libra energy. Let me figure this out. How to get my shit back. How to recoup my losses. Recover what was mine. Take back what was mine. Oh my God. It feels so like, you know, Aries, I feel like for a lot of my feminine energies, I feel like this is probably going to be vice versa because this is very masculine. Oh, 
this is a very masculine kind of energy or masculine approach that I'm picking up here. Hold on, I gotta... Okay. Any messages for Aries regarding love from today to October 11th? Any messages for Aries regarding love from today to October 11th? Any messages for Aries regarding love from today to October 11th? Also, keep in mind that you give two fours here. Very synchronistic. Because we we have four cards and two fours. Four, four, four. Just sit. And two of swords, moon, and Libra energy here. Okay? Making that decision to figure it out. Overall energy. Oh, looky, looky here. Emperor in reverse. Aries energy, Taurus energy, divine masculine energy. Yeah, I feel like a very masculine energy is behind this recovery mission, so to speak. Or taking what they feel is theirs and making sure that people understand that it's meant for them. Not just claiming it and knowing it, but also making sure people know it. <laughs> very Aryan. Very, very Aryan here, okay? Um, but a very masculine energy is behind this. Definitely someone who feels like, I belong on a throne. This person feels like they belong on a throne. That's home to them. Yeah, that's home to them. I am king, I am queen, and it's mine. Underneath that, we do have Eight of Cups in reverse, Piscean energy, wow, with the Nine of Swords, Gemini energy, and then the Tower in reverse. Scorpionic energy could also be Aries, so this is Mars. Yeah, the, yeah. whoever this Emperor is, Aries, whether it's you or someone that is like looking at you like you're mine here, um, this is someone who can't let go of something that was lost. They can't. They can't. This is a lot of anxiety. This is a lot of emotional upheaval. Um, and there was a big fat Tower moment. It was a big fat Tower moment for this Emperor, okay? Emperor is basically someone who is like a boss. They are, okay? Um, it's like CEO energy. It's like a judge energy. Um, it could also be like someone who like has like a title or like someone who's very militant, right? That It's Aries energy. It's Mars energy. Um, they want it back. They want it back. And ending with the two of swords tells me that they're going to figure out how to do it. But I feel like they're doing it in secret. They're doing it in secret. And I do feel like this is about a relationship more so than anything. For some of you, it could just be a business you know, situation here, okay? And again, don't get, don't get hung up on the gender or the energy. If it's you, it's you. And you know that, right? But I do feel this energy of kind of sneak attack. Sneak attack recovery mission. <laughs> Aries, I'm loving this reading. Okay, so let's look at the four of wands. I feel like this, this is what um, is being recovered here or being recouped in a way or that was usurped or taken or lost. The throne. We'll just call it the throne. Okay, the throne, the kingdom, the throne of the kingdom. The four of wands. Um, where did my writer go? Oh, there it is. <laughs> Grew legs and walked away. Tell me about the four of wands. Someone feels like they're royalty in a metaphorical sense. Hey, if, if I don't think I have royalty watching me, but if I do, then you're royalty and you know it. But someone feels like... Like, yeah, it's like someone is, so, I feel like someone's so connected to a past life right now where it's like, they know they're a king, they know they were a king or a queen, and it's like they knew they had a kingdom, and it's like, it's they're, they're harnessing the energy here. They're harnessing the energy. Talking about four of wands. Talking about four of wands. And Aries, I mean, don't get hung up on that, like the past life stuff that I'm talking about, because obviously it's not going to be for everybody, right? Um, but it's still that same energy of like, I need to take back what's mine, what I'm deserving of, whatever that is to you. So I have four of wands. For Aries, regarding love from now to October 11th. So I have four of wands. Final four of wands for Aries regarding love from today. Oh, oh God, that four of swords energy. We have queen of wands. Aries energy could also be fire or water with the four of swords, Libra energy. Though the magician in reverse, mercurial energy could also be, Vir which is Virgo, Gemini. For me as a reader, it's Aquarius and Scorpio, divine masculine energy. Yeah, this is someone taking a serious time out to figure shit out, to figure out why, why something was lost, how it was lost. With Mr. <laughs> oh, my mouth doesn't work in the morning. Uh, with Magician in Reverse, this is a very manipulative energy. Someone's trying to figure out how they were manipulated out of something. That's for some of you. Um, or just how they lost it. How they lost it. How did I lose control is what I just heard. How did I lose control of that situation? 
It was mine. How did I, how did I lose? How did I lose? Ooh, how did I lose? Time about the four of wands for Aries. Time about the four of wands for Aries regarding love from today to October 11th. Time about the four of wands for Aries regarding love from today to October 11th. Okay, overall energy. Ooh, we've got the sun, Leo energy, high priestess in reverse. Piscean energy could also be Gemini for me as a reader. Eight of wands, Sag energy. Wow. The world, fixed energy, Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, also Saturn, Jules, Capricorn. Then we've got that 10 of pentacles. And I knew that would come out for you guys. Virgo energy. This is all about legacy. And you got a lot of major arcana here. The world is, Jesus, the world, the world being here basically is like something new started, something majorly new started here. And I do feel major blessings with this regarding legacy specifically, the kingdom, right? Rubies, diamonds, and gold. Okay. Uh, with the high priestess universe and the eight of wands, though, I do feel like communicate. There's, there's some, yeah, these were secret moves. These were secret moves. Aries, whatever was lost, the full truth is going to come out. The sun with the high priestess universe, that's major illumination. Major, major illumination, major truth bombs being dropped. Eight of wands says that there's probably going to be through communication, like text messaging, most likely, or emails. Also, the sense of travel with the eight of wands in the world, it could be domestic or international here, but there's a sense of legacy here. Your legacy is on the line. This is all, yeah, whatever's being recouped here, whatever this recovery mission is on part of this emperor, this emperor is chasing down their legacy that they feel like was lost. I mean, this is like, this is very auspicious energy as well. Whatever this was that's being recovered or chased after, it's incredibly special. It's incredibly special. It's incredibly valuable. Almost priceless is what I'm getting. Priceless to this emperor. It's almost like it was made for this emperor. Whatever this kingdom is, whatever this relationship is, because for some it's just business. It almost feels like, um, how do I say this? Like their baby. It's like, you know, your child is made up of your DNA, right? Like that is so a part of you in such a primal, spiritual, energetic, imprinted way, right? When you have a child, it's like, that's how this feels. That's how this feels, this emperor. Like it belongs to no one else but this emperor on every level. <laughs> Sorry, I got the chills. Some of you guys, someone feels this way about you. I'm just saying someone feels this way about a relationship definitely for for a good chunk of you okay which is very intense that's intense feelings like how I'm trying to think if I've ever felt that way personally just like you know just chit chatting here with you guys for a minute yeah I'm wondering if I've ever felt that way like that person is mine belongs to no one else they were made for me and I know it like an energetic imprint oh you know mm, why is this feeling a little counterparty Okay. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, this is like a little counterparty a little bit. Okay. Um, for those for those who are counterparts, obviously, that's not gonna be for a lot of you, but it's feeling a little bit like that. It's feeling a little bit like that. So let's look at the Ace of Cups universe and the chariot. This is where I feel like shit was lost. This is where I feel like shit was lost. Let's look at the chariot or usurped in a way usurped. Uh, a lot of Cancerian energy just came in here. A lot of Cancerian energy. Something with the chariot. Oh, I just heard poached. I just heard poached. Okay, Aries, if someone's chasing after you uh, and you're with someone else, th this emperor could feel like um, someone swooped in and grabbed you. And they're not having that. I feel like that. I got, I got the chills. That's definitely the case for some of you. Play with the chariot. Keep in mind it can be vice versa. Play with the chariot for Aries regarding love from now to October 11th. Tell me about the chariot for Aries regarding love from today to October 11th. Okay. Tell me about the chariot for Aries regarding love from today to October 11th. Tell me about the chariot for Aries regarding love from now to October 11th. Time of the chariot for Aries regarding love from now to October 11th. Oh, that's too many. Too many, spirit. Too many. Too many. Less cards, please. Time of the chariot for Aries regarding love. 
from today to October 11th. Time of this chariot energy. Time of this chariot energy. Wow. Wow. King of Cups in reverse. Scorpionic energy could also be water, air. I'm getting emotional manipulation off of this. I. Yeah. For some of you, this is an emotional manipulative kind of energy. Um, oh, this is interesting. For some of you, this emperor... Did they freak out? What's going on here? I almost feel running away now. I was feeling like taking, 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 taking. But now I'm almost thinking like, for some of you, I think this person just dropped everything and now they're like, shit, I need to go back and claim what's mine. If that's your story, I think this emperor freaked out. I don't know why they freaked out, but they freaked out. For those where there's is a this is a usurping situation, it's a king of cups versus an emperor, okay? King of cups versus an emperor. As far as like the battleground is concerned. <laughs> Talking about the king of cups. No, okay, about the chariot. Talking about the chariot. Talking about the chariot. For Aries, regarding love from now to October 11th. Time of the Chariot for Aries, regarding love from now to October 11th. Okay, wow, I'm getting, all, okay. Okay, Spirit, stop, stop, stop. Um, okay, so I'm getting three full scenarios here. There's one scenario here where there's a King of Cups versus an Emperor where King of Cups took what the, what the Emperor felt like was theirs. Business or love or otherwise. I'm also picking up an energy that I, was, that I was saying like a running away where this emperor who was also this king of cups in reverse dropped the ball here or dropped and ha or left their throne. And I, I don't know why, but it feels like a freak out. It feels like a freak out, left their throne, whatever their throne is to their kingdom. And now they're trying to figure out a sneak attack to get it back. Okay. And I'm picking up a third scenario here where both are related, where this emperor kind of left the throne. And when they left the throne, a king of cups took it over. And now the emperor wants it back. Get off my throne. <laughs> okay. Tell me about the chariot. And I do feel like this is all of over a Queen of Wands energy. Okay. Tell me about the chariot. Tell me about the chariot. That's what the title is reading. Get off my throne. Tell me about the chariot for Aries. Time of the Chariot for Aries regarding love from now to October 11th. The devil. Capricorn energy. I love this devil card, by the way. So awesome. Anyway, uh, Capricorn energy. Yeah. So either way, whatever scenario you're finding yourself in, there's a sense of toxicity that was attached to this. That was attached to the usurping event, the running away event, or the person coming in and claiming event. Okay. Um, a lot of control, more more control than toxicity. It was, I don't like the word gain because that's not the right word. It's like, it was all strategy, strategy for control, strategy for control. Whether this emperor left the throne temporarily and then this person came in and took it or this person just took it, right? Or this person freaked out and left for whatever reason. There's, it's all around the energy of control or losing control. Time about the chariot. For those where it's definitely a situation where um, something was usurped or it was up for grabs and a king of cups took it, it was strategy. For those in those two, for those in those two scenarios, it was strategy. Time at the chariot. Oh wow, nine of pentacles, Virgo energy. Also my pre empress card. Yeah, this is the queen of wands energy. For those where this is a rela about a relationship. Yeah, something was left for grabs or something was taken because someone appeared to be kind of on their own or single. There was there was like an opening. That's what I'm getting. There was a window of opportunity and this King of Cups took it for those in those two scenarios. Okay, remember, there's a scenario here where the emperor just kind of left. That's the third scenario. And now they want to come back. Either way, this Queen of Wands energy looked damn good. Okay, <laughs> looked too damn delicious with the devil with the Nine of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands, that's someone who's independent. That's someone who's strong. That's someone who's very sexually attractive. Uh, very, very attractive. Very commanding of the room as well. Almost irresistible. Yeah, almost irresistible here, okay? Um, 
Yeah, and this King of Cups, for those in the two scenarios where a King of Cups came in and pushed this Emperor out or came in and took what the Emperor left vulnerable, because I do feel this window of opportunity happened and this King of Cups took it and they weren't going to pass it up. Over energy for the chariot. Interesting. We have the star in reverse, Aquarian energy. I feel lost dreams with that. Lost dreams, lost, lost of, loss of destiny. Oh my God. Where are we going with this, Aries? Loss of destiny. This is the emperor's feelings here. Yeah, because then we have the hermit underneath that Virgo energy going and trying to figure it out. Four swords is the minor arcana to the major hermit card. Definitely the emperor's energy here. The emperor's pissed. The emperor's pissed that they lost what was theirs. Whether they just had that window of opportunity where they, oh, where they left this throne vulnerable for someone to come in and take it, or someone, or they got pushed out by a King of Cups energy, or they freaked out and left for, for whatever reason or another. They 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 feel like they lost their destiny in a way. It's like again, they feel like it's theirs. Oh, this Emperor feels like it's theirs. It's mine. It's got my energy all over. It's got my signature all over. It's mine. It's made for me. It's mine. Get off my throne. Looking at the four of swords with the two of swords. Let's look at the two of swords. It's about their sneak attack. <laughs> their sneak attack recovery mission here. It's interesting because it's like, for this Queen of Wands energy, for those where this is about a relationship. Because again, if it's not about a relationship, it's just about, it's something that looks damn good and appetizing. Even if it's just a career thing, right? Something that's irresistible. Um, I feel like this emperor to the queen... Whoever, you know, if there's about a relationship, I feel like, I gotta be honest, I don't think this queen thinks about this emperor anymore. I don't think they think about this emperor. I really don't. Sorry, emperors, I know that hurts, but I really don't think that they, that you're in their conscious mind. Anyway, so let's look at the two of swords. Um, I feel like Santa Muerte with this one. And then we'll go ahead and pull some uh, advice. So I the two of swords. Tell me about the Two of Swords for Aries regarding love from today to October 11th. Tell me about the Two of Swords. Tell me about the Two of Swords. Tell me about the Two of Swords. For those where this emperor just kind of left, like literally just abandoned their throne, temporarily i do feel it was in the in the energy of needing to heal something or needing to take care of something time of the two of swords time of the two of swords for aries regarding love from now until october 11th time of the two of swords for aries regarding love from now to october 11th come on okay I love this deck so much, guys, but just for just so you guys know, for anybody who does want to purchase it and do and then you shuffle casino style, I don't think it'll last very long. I can already feel it's getting hard to shuffle. Tony of the Two of Swords for Aries. Regarding love from now to October 11th. Tony of the Two of Swords for Aries regarding love from now to October 11th. Two of Pentacles, Capricorn energy. Yeah, trying to figure shit out. Trying to figure shit out. Two of Pentacles, I'm getting also a busy energy with this. Oh, okay, interesting. Another reason this emperor hasn't come in to, you know, take back what was theirs or come in in the sneak attack. Uh, I'm also getting that they've been bogged down by shit. Like, their plate has get has gotten, like, higher and higher and higher. Like, stuff's been put on their plate. That's only going to be for some of these emperors where stuff's been put on their plate and it's almost acting as an impedance uh, to coming back in and claiming what's theirs. Definitely getting that. I'm also getting an energy of just like juggling here. Um, juggling options, juggling decisions, trying to figure out, oh yeah, strategizing, strategizing. Again, very Aryan. Strategizing. Yeah, some of, some of these emperors are really like honing in every detail of the sneak attack. They want it to be perfect. They're coming up with like, Okay, if this happens, then we got a plan A, plan B, plan C, plan D. It's like they're thinking of all the scenarios that I felt I felt this energy before. They're thinking of every single scenario and how to go about this so that it has to go in their favor. Yeah, so that there's no option but to win. Wow. Hangman in reverse, Piscean energy with the Empress in reverse, Libra energy, Taurus energy, divine feminine, the, 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 divine 
feminine energy, excuse me, there we go, here, okay? We now have an emperor to an empress, okay? Um, with the hangman in reverse and the empress in reverse, this is kind of, this is realizing the empress isn't giving any energy to the emperor. It doesn't want to. Oh, uh, yeah, doesn't want to. Like I said, th this person, this queen of wands, this empress, for those where this is a relationship, they don't think about this emperor. They don't. If they do, it's very rarely. If they do, it's very seldom. And I think this emperor is waking up to that. And it's a little discouraging. But they're still doing it. It's a little discouragement. They're like, no, nah, it's still mine, though. It's still mine. Tell me about the Two of Swords. Tell me about the Two of Swords. If this is about, like, a work opportunity or something, it's like they kind of know that, like, the boss or people at the office, like, really don't think about this person anymore, you know? Tell me about the Two of Swords. Let's see here. Wow. Yeah, Cherry in reverse, Cancerian energy. Yeah, this Emperor's coming to a realization here that this person again if this is like a relationship um really has no interest in moving forward with this person because they just don't think about them they don't think about them so i have the two of swords so it's a six or a nine six six of swords in reverse aquarian energy no peace this emperor will not have peace of mind until they get their throne back tell me about two of swords tell me about two of swords Seven of Wands in reverse, Leo energy. Oh, this is interesting. I'm actually getting embarrassment with this. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Emperor, an, an emperor just yelled at me. Um, hey, if you're embarrassed, you're embarrassed. I'm just the messenger, okay? Deal with your shit, all right? I just felt a lot of ego with that. Um, this person feels embarrassed over what happened. Yeah, they feel embarrassed that they lost their throne. Yeah, they feel embarrassed. They're embarrassed. And that also is kind of in their head a lot. And it's like, it's really not good for their ego. I don't think the, em the emperor is realizing that, but it's not good for their ego. So I have the two of swords. Overall energy, yeah, four of swords in reverse with the king of wands in reverse underneath that. Leo energy could also be air or fire. We do have a true pair here with the king and queen of wands and with the emperor, hold on, and the empress. Very much a power couple right there, if it can work out, if it can work out. So overall energy for the Two of Swords, that Four of Swords in reverse and the King of Wands in reverse. Yeah, this is someone who needs to get their shit straightened out, okay? Because King of Wands in reverse, this is someone who's not grounded and someone who's a little impulsive, okay? Um, and impulsivity is not going to work in this situation for taking back a throne and coming in with a sneak attack. And this person knows that, which is why they're still kind of in MIA mode, still in hermit mode, still a little bit in hiatus to try and figure out how to make this happen. Because they're going to make it happen. Oh, yeah. See, seven of Pentacles underneath that. Strategizing. They're going to figure this shit out. They're going to figure out how to get back their throne, get back their queen, get back their opportunity. Because it's theirs. Because it's theirs. Okay. All right. Let's pull some advice. Any advice for my Aries regarding this spread? Any advice for my Arians 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 regarding this spread? <laughs> Badger spirit, be fearless and bold with the energy of four. Fours are dominating your reading, guys. I mean, God, how many four swords did you get? One, two, I think you got another one, didn't you? Three, yeah, you have three, four swords. Do you have any other fours here? No, you don't, but three, four swords. I mean, that's kind of intense. I think you got another four here. Okay, oh, and you have the four of wands too, and the four of wands, I forgot. Yeah, Badger Spirit, be fearless and bold. This is a total Aryan card, by the way, in this deck. I should just label it the Aries card. Look at the way this person's staring shit down. But uh, you know what's kind of funny? I love that there's just like a little daisy. <laughs> that's a daisy, right? Yeah, it looks like a daisy to me. A little like yellow daisy, like in, in the hair. Like, hold on. Oh, focus. Like, yeah, I'm a badass emperor with that little, like, flower on top of the head. I love that. I don't know. I just think it's so cute. Also feeling a little bit of that, like, feminine mob boss energy as well here, okay? But, yeah, this is going in for the kill, going in for the jugular, going for it. Going for it and not accepting a, a loss either. I'm going to win at all costs because I've made every single plan, strategy, and I'm going to put it in place and I've made it so that I can't lose and I'm taking my throne back. Get off my throne. 
Very intense. Any. Oh, very nice. Eagle spirit. Spirit has your back. 23 breaking down to a five here. We do progression energy, the four to the five. So when this starts to take place, when this emperor starts to make moves coming out of that hiatus energy, it's going to go really fast. Okay. It's going to go really fast. And this is divinely guided. This is divinely led. This emperor is also listening to their intuition to do it. They are in that four swords hermit energy, which is all about enlightenment as well. Okay. So what else we got here? Any other advice for Aries regarding this spread? Oh, wow. Dog spirit. I haven't seen this card in a while. Be loyal to what you love. 19 is cyclical energy. So coming into a whole new cycle here. And this is about loyalty at the end of the day. Okay. Um, I'm not making that mistake again. Sorry, I was getting something. Not making that mistake again. I think this emperor didn't understand... For those with this about a relationship, no, yeah, actually, and for business as well, there's a sense that this emperor had some e has some major ego stuff going on. I think they've done a lot of ego healing since since losing their throne here. Um, it's almost like understanding what true loyalty is about and how to keep it, how to maintain loyalty of others. You maintain loyalty of others by giving loyalty to them. I think this emperor didn't really understand that. I almost like this emperor the way that they ran their throne. The aka the relationship or the business or work environment um was kind of very much like whatever i say goes right like that's what that's kind of what i'm getting like not not very much not very big on listening um not very big on understanding the needs of others in the environment or in the relationship and that's not loyalty that's tyrants that's like being a tyrant oh that's a lesson for this emperor being a true leader versus being a tyrant and how that affects the loyalty you have with people and how loyal people are to you oh that's a tough lesson oh i just heard bitter that's a bitter ass lesson any other advice for aries regarding this spread oh hold on come back here grasshopper spirit take a leap of faith i just I heard, the, I heard the message for Coyote Spirit. That's been happening a lot lately, actually. When I've been doing monthlies, especially, even if I get other cards, I hear the Coyote message. I don't know what that's about. I mean, we are in a lot of timeline shifts right now still. Um, they've kind of slowed down, thank God. I mean, we're at a point where it was happening multiple times a day, and I'm like, what hour is it? Where am I? <laughs> it, was like, it was just too much. Um, but I'm getting that Coyote energy again. Uh, basically, that's... For those who don't know, because I know I've been a lot of newbies, sorry for those who've been with me for a while. I know it's not like a broken record when I talk about coyotes, but they're the tricksters, okay? They're the tricksters. They know the blueprint. They know the grand design. They throw the curveballs to get people in line, to get people to where they're supposed to be, okay? I think I'm getting that so much because definitely because of this timeline stuff, for sure. But that's kind of at play here, and I feel like the emperor experienced a lot of, like, coyote curveballs, okay? Anyway, so grasshopper spirit, the energy of 30, breaking down to a three, communication, and this is also the full card for me. Yeah, this emperor has learned a lesson regarding communication and how to run a throne, how to manage people, and how to maintain lo true loyalty, and how to not be a tyrant versus being a true leader. And there's also this energy of like, just just do it. Just just do it. Just do it. Um, I feel like this, this queen slash empress. Oh, can't pick up these cards today. I feel like this queen slash empress is going to be feeling quite the brunt from this emperor. Like quite the brunt from them. I can feel it. It feels a, like a lot of pressure. A lot of pressure. Like a really big force. And it's almost the energy of like decide fast. Emperors be careful. Feels very tyranty. Just saying. Oh. Feels very tyranty. I don't think the queen's going to respond well to that. Any other advice for Aries regarding this spread? Overall energy, ooh, nice. The high priestess energy, owl spirit, you see clearly now, 43 breaking down to a seven. This is having intuition and seeing the long game, seeing the end game, also seeing through people is what I'm getting. I'm hearing, I'm hearing transparency, transparency. The way, okay, emperors, the way to win your throne back, get your throne back, usurp the usurper in a way, um, being completely transparent, and also understanding that this person sees right through you. They see right through you. So don't try to do any games. Don't try to, you know, finagle the words of what you want or, you know, try to say it in a way where it's like you don't give all the information because they see right through your ass. Okay, I'm just saying, emperors, I'm just saying. They see right through you. 
They see right through you. So come in with transparency. That's also how you're going to win the respect of this empress and how you're going to win that loyalty back, okay? Take that leap of faith in being transparent with this person as you're being a badass about it, okay? Wow, Aries, this was a fun reading. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to go on Patreon. Check that out along with Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And I will see you guys later. Have a great night, Aries. Namaste.